Hello everybody and welcome back to the All About Favorite channel. I am Pastor KZ. I am your host. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and comment, like, and share at the end of each video. Now, I want to end this week with an email as I said to you on yesterday. And I promised you from several weeks ago that I would give you a response from an older man and his take on what's wrong with relationships. Now, I thought it was only fair since I gave you commentary on what a 74-year-old woman said. I said, let me do a video from a man in that same age range because you'll probably get the similar perspective that she gave. So if you've missed that video, go back over there and watch that video a few weeks ago and it starts the week off with the trigger video. It will say that. So take a look at those video. Now, this is a fair representation. I didn't pick someone who's, you know, in their 20s or 30s. I said, you know, in order to make a equal assessment and comparison, you got to compare it with the same age group. Now, let's get started. It's a 75-year-old man, and this is his perspective. He says, and I'm going to read bits and pieces of his video, so I may not look up sometime. He says, hello, Pastor KZ. I must say, you got an OG like me hooked on your channel. That's nice. Thank you. That made me smile. And he said, and I'll get <clears throat> right into this because... Um, I want you to understand that when I watch your videos, I take notes. Okay. And he says, but before I get in the meat of this email of your, of, that I'm sending you, I want to ask you to please, please send me three t-shirts of your boy by and they all I want in that black and orange color that is why I'm wearing it today boy by you are doing too much I will get that to you don't forget put the sizes you want go back and email me and put the sizes you put the order in but you didn't put the sizes so please put that in there now he says I was married 52 years before my wife went home to be with the Lord Two years ago, she passed away, he said. Ain't no way in blank, he says. I could find another one like her. I wouldn't even try at this point. We had 52 wonderful years. Not saying without some ups and downs, but the downs really was minimal to the good times that we shared. Through that, we only produced uh, two children, one of which is deceased, but... I wouldn't take nothing for that woman right there. These gals out here, they are a trip. In my day, we imagined what girls looked like. Now, you ain't got to imagine nothing. We just imagine what they would look like in a bathing suit. Now, well, you got these old women walking around here showing everything. He said, I would never take any of these women home to meet my people. He says, and especially if I was a young man, I wouldn't meet, I wouldn't take none of these girls to meet my people. He says, nowadays it's bad. Pastor KZ, what are y'all telling these women? What are y'all female ministers teaching these girls? Obviously they ain't being taught nothing because I've been looking at some of the women preachers and they look just like the 304s as they call it. Ooh, that stung, but hey, it didn't apply to me, but if it applied, let it fly. If it don't apply, let it fly, but if it stepped on your toes, you better bring yourself into correction, female ministers, as he call it. He said, yeah, some of these women pastors, they got the lashes on, the nails on, and I ain't got no problem with that, but now I do have a problem when... Every Sunday they got on a different color wig that goes beyond their hip area. You know that ain't your real hair. And then they don't even preach in robes no more, Pastor. But I done got off topic. Let me get back to what I want to talk about. He said, why can't these women carry themselves with modesty 
and class. They round him demanding that these boys, and he say, I say boys with respect because some of them younger than me. They, they want these men and boys to respect them when they don't even respect themselves. He said, yep, yeah, I'm an old man now, and but I'm old school. And some things I can't break free of. He said, it used to be a time when you go and pick a girl up for a date and you walk to the door and knock on the door. Because back then in my day, some houses didn't have no doorbells. You knock on the door and the daddy will come to the door and the mama and you greet them. And then you take the girl out and bring her back home because you expected to bring her back home the same way she leaving home and at a respectable time. He said, I don't understand what's going on with this dating thing. I guess they don't do that no more. I don't guess they ask for company no more. And some don't know what that is, Pastor KZ, and I know that. He says, also, what's wrong with women? It used to be a time the boys would work a little bit and make money for the date. Now the girl's paying for the date. The girl's paying for the gas. The girl's paying for everything. It's just different now. He said, it's, it's not just the men who I'm going to be on today. I'm going to get on the women and the men. I want this to be equal because when, when the other lady who in my age range wrote to you, she said some valid things and I'm, I'm co-signing what she's saying. Pastor KZ, it's just not the same. It's something wrong here. These people have no concept of what a commitment is. They don't know how to trust each other because they're not trustworthy. They compromise their morals, those that have morals. It's too much compromising. And where is the real love? And to you men out there, he says, that you, with, you got so much to say about women Y'all worse than the women. Ooh, wow. Y'all hear that? Let me say that again. He said, you men out there with so much to say about women, y'all worse than women. What real secure man got that much time to be on the internet talking about women, Pastor KZ? I see all these little boys out there. All they doing is bashing they women. And I will say this, they bashing the black women. And they thinking going over there to another country or going getting another race is any better. Some of them just as bad as black women. And y'all going to find that out. He said, y'all need to be focusing on raising your sons and your daughters. Those of you men who's sitting up on the internet all the time. Got so much to say about what women need and how women should behave. The main one of y'all men of y'all who out here talking, y'all ain't never even been in your, your children's life. You sitting around him talking and all you did was walk around and send a check or maybe buy a pair of sneakers, a bicycle or something like that. And you around here on the internet bashing women and talking about their skills when you don't have no skills. Men, you got a double standard. Some of y'all around here talking about women, y'all ain't even never been married. You ain't even loved a woman enough and respected her enough to make her your wife. Mm. You're not in the home with your sons, and therefore you got your sons running amok. You got children out there that you're not really present in their life, and you think that you're a great man, and you want to be called the king, and you think you father of the year. The child support check don't mean nothing. You showing up for birthdays don't mean nothing, and occasional Christmases. This is what I say to you boys out there. And Pastor KZ, I told you I want the t-shirt. Boy, bye. Y'all boys go somewhere and sit down because I know y'all think y'all men because you're 18 and up. You boys to me because you're not doing what you're supposed to do because a real man know how to get out there and work and provide. A real man know how to show respect for women. A real man know how to show a woman that he loves her because he is exhibiting that before his daughters. Some of you men got nothing but girls. And them little girls grow up and them girls messed up because of you. I'm putting the, the onus right back on you, man. Y'all daughters is messed up because of y'all. They got daddy issues. They don't know how to, to, to treat a man because they watched how you mishandled and mistreated their mama. Or you wasn't in their mama's life. Or they watched you 
who was married to their mamas go out and get all these babies on the outside and expect for your mama to take it. Men, y'all need to sit down somewhere. Sit down somewhere. You got these grown men out here who acting like thugs, who treating women like they dirt, disrespecting them, cussing them out, calling them all kind of names, refusing to take responsibility and accountability, but you calling yourself a man and you got so much to say about women. Y'all messed up. Y'all sit around and gossip about women when you need to be trying to get a job or when you need to be trying to teach your sons how to be men. Not only the girls messed up, but boys, y'all mess up y'all sons. You know why your sons messed up? Because they ain't never seen a man. That's why they grow up lazy and expecting a woman to take care of them. Because every girl come in their life, they want her to do exactly what his mama been doing. These women around here got uh, who have... These mama's boys, they that way because you wasn't their man. Y'all, he talking some real stuff here. I know men going to get in their feelings and watch this. He say, the main ones talking, y'all are not doing what y'all supposed to be doing. You saying a lot. And yes, yeah, some of the things you say about women is true. But a whole lot of what the women saying about y'all is true too. He say, Pastor KZ, you know, it's some messed up people out here. Things ain't what they used to be. People are not being taught the things I was taught in my generation. And again, I'm an OG. I'm 75. I don't have time to play these little childish games. So I call it like I see it. I get what some of these women are saying. They don't want these men. And I understand why. Some of you men, y'all remind them of another woman. Wait a minute, Pops. Wait, wait, let's break this down to me, y'all. Let me finish reading. He say, some of you men remind these women of another woman. He say, because y'all got female tendencies. He say, I would say another word, but I respect you, Pastor KZ. But some of these men got female tendencies. And I don't mean feminine tendencies. What I mean is they whine and complain all the time. They weak men, and women don't respect weak men. Women don't have respect for a man who can't provide, and you around him want her to respect you, and you can't even take care of her. You can't take care of her kids. You don't offer nothing in the home. You just there and think she should be okay with you just being there. You supposed to be okay with you... You know, she's supposed to be okay with you doing the best you can. I help out. Women don't respect men like that because now the women have taken on the role of being the man. And a woman can't be a man in a relationship. A woman's supposed to walk in her feminine grace, but she can't because the man she got won't step up and be a man. So she don't respect you. That's why the women talk all kind of ways to these men nowadays because they are nothing but grown boys. That's why I say boys because they act like boys, meaning they're not mature and they're sitting around expecting a woman to do something that their mother did for them, which is nurture them, wash their clothes, feed them, and treat them like babies, and be there for them. No matter what, rain or shining, you boys out there talking about you need a ride or die chick. No, you don't ride for her. You don't sacrifice for her. I get why these women don't want y'all. Pastor KZ, please say that and emphasize that. I understand why these girls don't want these men. I get it. Hmm. Y'all, he's saying a lot. And the email goes on and on. He say, you men are weak. He said, I can't say it enough. Men are weak. You go and you happy with a piece of job when you know that piece of job ain't providing and taking care of your household. Get yourself up and go get yourself certified as a welder, as a meat cutter, or do something to bring some more money in that house. Your woman out here working two and three jobs or she got a side hustle or she baking pies out the house, she making seafood balls out the house, she boiling peanuts out the house, selling stuff just as a side side hustle to compensate because she knows she got to take care of the household because this joker that she laying in the bed with every night won't do it or can't do it but y'all want to be called kings y'all not kings in my book 
y'all are not kings. He said, we OGs, you talk to a man 60 and up, and he'll teach you something, boys. Maybe you'll learn something, because the life y'all living and looking at on these videos, that ain't the real world. Most of you boys out there, I'm going to be real with you. If y'all wasn't a ball player, or you wasn't in the rap game, or you ain't in the entertainment field, that kind of money, that you feel like you got so many options that now y'all don't even really want the women no more. Now y'all wanting each other because y'all say you're bored with women. That's why these women, real women, they don't want y'all. They don't want y'all because y'all don't have no morals compass. Y'all now thinking it's okay to be in an open relationship. It's all right to have an open marriage. It's all right to have threesomes, foursomes, and all of this crazy stuff. That's what's wrong with the relationships, Pastor Casey, in my opinion. And like I say, that's just how I see it. I'm 75, and that's how I'm calling it. He says, th it, things are different. He say, I get a lot of you know, conversation, he said, from other men in my age group. He said, but I got to say this, Pastor KZ. Please tell these women to quit giving up the goodies right away. Tell these women to make these men work for it. Tell these girls that, please. And tell these girls to go put some clothes on. Because that look... It's not a good look. He said, I'm just going to say this. I try to support things in our local community, things our community put on events. And he said, at this point, I'm going to have to boycott the BET Awards. First of all, we, we know it ain't black entertainment TV no more because don't nobody black own that no more. He said, what was wrong with every woman 40 and up? You can see everything. He said, Pastor KZ, use your platform to tell these women that's 40 and up, especially if they done hit the 50 plus age range. Stop trying so hard. Let it go. Age gracefully. Because right now, y'all looking like street walkers. And I put the term in street walkers because he used another term. He say, a lot of men, Pastor KZ, please say this when you do this email. A lot of men won't tell women this, Pastor KZ. They won't say this to their face, but they say we talk among ourselves. Men talk. Believe me, if one thing men do that women is right about, they gossip. Men talk a lot. They may seem like they don't talk much to you because they don't want to talk to you. But men, we talk to each other. And they ain't going to say this to your face. Yeah, they going to go around there and get some. And y'all know what I'm saying. He going to go around there and hit because it's easy to get. You ain't got to work for it. He ain't got to buy no dinner. He ain't got to do none of that to get there. And all he got to do is flash a little money, give her a little money, pay her what she want. That's all that is. That's an exchange. They say, they laughing at y'all. These men laughing at y'all. You know what they calling you? Oh, washed up. Hit a wall. Oh, man, she got a high body count. Yeah, the young boys saying it about you. The boys in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and especially men 50, 60, and 70 in my age range, they already know she got a high body count. I ain't finna mess with that. I'm not finna marry that. Pastor KZ, please tell these women, go put some clothes on. He said, some of the entertaining women who got some of the greatest music out there, legends, iconic women, queens of hip-hop soul, queens of rap game, queens of whatever. He said, and I'm not going to even begin to get on some of them. You know, the women like Gladys Knight, Patti LaBelle, them kind of sisters, Aretha Franklin, they wouldn't dare go and walk a red carpet the way Tony Braxton and Remy Ma did. He say it's just so distasteful. Y'all women in your 50s, y'all stop trying to compete with the girls in their 20s. You don't have to look like a 304 or a city girl. Age gracefully. It's okay. And please, Pastor Casey, tell them stop jacking up their face, putting that Botox in it. They look a mess. 
He said, I got a whole lot more to say. Read my next email, Pastor KZ. Thank you so much for just indulging me because I had some things I want to get off, off my chest. And he said, I got a few more things too to get off my chest. He said, now, when you put that video out, see how the responses are. Let's see what kind of comments you get. Let's see what kind of emails you get. Because I'm all about that life of making comments and sharing. So, y'all, I don't know. I don't have much commentary. I read the email. I shared with you what he had to say. Now, what say you, man? I don't know, y'all. Sound like to me, he, he got on the men just as hard as he got on the women. He didn't sugarcoat nothing. He was authentic and he stated his opinion. What say you? I hate to say it. I agree with a lot with what he said too, as I did with mama who, who wrote her email. I agree with them both. Y'all, it's just a different day and different time, different generation. But the one thing that should never change from generation to generation is class. Carry yourself with some class. Modesty. That doesn't change. So tell me what you think about this email. Please feel free to email me back. Write some comments. Share this video. Please, y'all, hit the thumbs up. I'm going to have to place a trigger warning, I guess, on this. Because he said some things that might step on some people's toes and some things people may not like. But you know what? He spoke a truth that many people don't want to say. Thank y'all so much for watching. Again, pick up your boy back. You're doing too much t-shirt. This was one of his favorites he requested. He's ordered a couple of them. And I have other t-shirts of this nature that I may represent one next week. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hey, y'all, get yourself focused. Find some balance in your life. You ain't focused if you running around out here doing all kind of crazy stuff. Grow up, y'all. It, it comes a point when you got to grow up mature act your age stop trying to trying to de-age and reverse it you know they say oh well 60 is the new 40 no honey 60 is still 60 all day long your body don't feel the way it did when you was 40 your body don't feel the way it felt when you was 20 okay i don't care what they tell you you can put on all of the makeup all all of the, the flash all that stuff you look good and it's nothing wrong with looking good but you got to feel good inside about yourself. See, some people look good on the outside, but they a mess on the inside. It's a reason I believe why a lot of these women dress like they dress. I think it's a reason a lot of these women try to compete with these girls in their 20s. Because they don't want to give up the fact and grow up. Some of them, and, and Pops was right about this. Some of these women that's 50, ain't nothing wrong with your gray hair. Ain't nothing wrong. He said, ain't nothing wrong with the lashes, the nails, the wigs. I don't have a problem with that. He said, but what I have a problem with is they refuse to grow up and they out here. Their behavior is like they don't care. They don't have classy behavior. You can look very classy and be covered. You can look classy in a nice dress, a nice evening gown. You can show a little cleavage. He said, ain't nothing wrong with that. But when I can see everything and I ain't got to even imagine anything and you just got strips of tape over certain body parts, you just look a mess. So get balanced. Find your balance. Get focused on what you want to represent. Because some of you, you're representing one thing, but you want to be treated and acknowledged another way. That's all he's saying. That's all I've been saying. You cannot walk around and tell everybody, oh, I'm a queen. You need to respect me. Why? You look like you're a streetwalker. A man running around, I'm a king. I'm this. You need to respect me. Call me daddy. My daddy is over in a cemetery somewhere. I'm not calling you daddy because you're not my father. You Joe. You Bill. You Henry. You. That's who you are. That's your name. And if you get in the status of husband, now you husband, a hubby, you might get to be bae, boo, or that. But all of this other stuff, um, you call me king. No, because you don't exhibit king behavior. And one thing y'all got to understand, a king and a queen ain't never got to ask for respect. A king and a queen ain't never got to announce their arrival or, or they, I'm here, the king is here. Most people already know who you are. And you know what? I say this all the time. 
show me your friends or your peer group and I'm gonna, that's who you are. Because you are who you hang around. Trust me on that. Thank you, Pops, for sending this email. And I finally call him Pops. And he said, and he says he's got plenty more to say. And he he emails me back and forth a lot. I always tease him. I say, oh, you on the internet again today, Pops. And he's like, well, I've earned that right, baby. I worked 40 some years on one job, retired off of that one, and worked another 20 some on another one. I'm doing all right. So he he comes on as entertainment, but he does watch the videos, and I just want to acknowledge him and thank him so much, and thank all of you for continually to support me and to watch the channel. I appreciate all of your gifts and your tokens of love, and don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Tell somebody about, there's a little girl there from Alachua County. She got a YouTube channel. Who knew? Keep walking by faith and not by sight. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you back Monday.